Well, you guys got another video here for you now we get asked quite a lot on the forums about repairing windows 10 and it is quite easy so i thought i'd make a video to show you some of the steps to repair windows 10. now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget hit the subscribe button and this will keep you up to date when we upload new videos every day so if you're having issues with windows 10 and it's not working properly and you want to try to repair it uh, I'm going to show you some steps to take before you have to reinstall uh, Windows. So the first sort of way you can try to repair it is go down to the start button and hit settings and then go into the update and security tab here and click on recovery and then click advanced startup and then restart now. And this will restart the uh, PC and go into uh, a recovery place where you can start doing some troubleshooting. Now you can also hit the shift key and restart Windows and it will take you to the same place here. Okay, So you can see choose an option, go into troubleshoot. And then we need to go into advanced options. Once you get into advanced options here there will be a bunch of stuff we can uh, run and try to fix Windows itself. Now the first place... I would generally start is the startup repair just in case it's something to do with uh, the startup this will try to fix windows and try to repair it and get you back up and running okay and this will run a diagnostics on your system and try to repair it now if, if you reboot a pc three times it keeps a uh, reboot rebooting it will automatically go into this startup repair okay so it will end up getting you into this troubleshoot area if that didn't work, go back into Troubleshoot and Advanced Options. And then what we're going to do here is go into System Restore. This is another safety net which you can use to try to restore the system back to a time when it was working properly. So this will be the next portal call which you can use. Now a lot of the time you'll get an error here saying it's not set up and that's because by default it's turned off. But if you've got it on, you will have restore points where you can roll back to and you can scan for affected programs which may be missing on uh, the rollback okay now if that didn't work go back into troubleshoot and advanced options and we're going to go into a command prompt here and then go back in and log into your account sign in and now you can run uh, some commands from here okay so one of the commands you can run is sfc space forward slash scan now and this is going to scan the operating system and try to fix any corrupt files or any sort of uh, corrupt operating system files that may be stopping uh, windows from functioning properly okay and it will try to repair those for you uh, just let this run and it will take a bit of time uh, so be patient but when this is run uh, it should come back and try to fix those issues but if you don't fix them then you can try other things now dism space forward slash online space forward slash clean dash image space forward slash restore health is another command that you can run which will try to restore uh, the image of your operating system so you can try this one as well but it's always advisable before you do any of this sort of stuff is to back up your data first before you try to mess and fix uh, windows itself okay now you're going to have to be patient because this will take a good bit of time maybe about 40 minutes or so to run okay and hopefully this will uh, resolve your issue and restore your system back to a working state now if this, if this doesn't work we're starting to run out of options but i'll show you some of the other steps that you can take until it gets to the point where you will have to reinstall windows so i'm not going to run this one because it will take quite a while to run but that is the command and i'll leave that in the video description now if you want to run these from your windows uh, drive you can type d colon and this is where your windows uh, will basically be you can see windows on their users reg backup and so on from there and this is where you might want to run all those commands from so if you are having trouble running them you can type d colon and dir and this will show you the directory if all this doesn't work go back into troubleshoot again and go advanced options and from here we're starting to run out of options but you can see here system image recovery now if you do have a system image you can recover uh, your system from that image uh, from that image from using system image recovery 
Now, obviously, if you don't have an image, you can't recover from that. And you can use something like go back to a previous version of Windows. This is useful if you've upgraded from a previous version of Windows or, or gone to a newer version of Windows 10 and it's fouled its install and now you can't get onto the desktop. You can use the go back to a previous version and sometimes this rectifies your problem. Now we're going to go back to the command prompt. Get yourself back to this location where we are now, which is the command prompt, and try your next thing. And then also you want to type, type in here check disk space forward slash R. Now you don't need to do the forward slash F on a, the recovery if you're in that recovery uh, CD. So we're just going to push this and uh, you can see here uh, check disk cannot run because the volume is all used by another process check mode okay i'm going to dismount uh, this so basically it wants to dismount so we're going to say yes to dismount and it will then run a check disk on that system so let that run and then when that finishes uh, we'll come back and uh, try a more drastic approach Okay, so that's now completed, and uh, what we're going to do here now uh, is try something a little bit more drastic if this hasn't worked for you. So what you want to do here is exit out of here and type exit and reboot your system and see if it does fix it. If it doesn't fix your problem and you're still having issues, then we need to uh, go to something a bit more drastic. Uh, so what we're going to do here is type out some commands here and uh, try to fix it via uh, regback and using the registry backup files which have been created so let's try and do that now so i've got a microphone in front of my keyboard here so it makes it a bit more difficult to type but i'll try to my best here so we're going to change directory here into the windows system 32 directory and once we get there we're going to change the directory uh, to config Like so. so in the config area now you can see and that's the path at the bottom so there's the config so what we want to do is type dir and you will see a list of files inside here okay now inside here you will see the ones we're interested in is default and you can see software security system uh, and stuff like that and sam these are the ones that we're interested in okay and you can see the date on these here now what we need to do here is go into the regback area because this is where all of the files are stored for backup. And if, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see why it's important to uh, keep updated files in there just in case something drastic like this happens. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change the directory to regback. So we're going to go CD, put reg and then back all one word just like so and now we're in the regback folder now we can type dir inside here and you can now see we have a list of files here now inside here you can see system uh, software security sam and default what's important here is to remember is you must see data on these files if you see a zero on these files then it's not going to work for you because there is no data on these backup files and all you're doing is copying uh, empty files to your directory you won't be able to boot to it okay so these are your um, files that you need to do here and you can see that they're a considerable size um, in with data there and these are the ones we're going to copy so basically inside this area here inside our config area we're going to back up these files first rename these and back them up and then we're going to copy all the files from the regback area into the config area okay so the first off let's um let's go back uh, in 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 uh, the other directory here so we're going to go back to our uh, cd dot dot and this will take us back a directory to config. Now, what we need to do is rename the, uh, the, the default, uh, the SAM, 
the security, the software and the system file first in the config area. And the reason why we're doing that is just in case something goes wrong, we can always revert back. So we're making uh, backups basically of our originals. So we're going to type ren, which is rename, and then we're going to space and then default, just like so. And then we're going to do space and then default, and then we do dot back. Okay, you can call it whatever you like. You can do one, two, three if you want. Default one, default two. It just makes it a bit more easy with the dot back uh, file because we now know exactly what we're calling it. So now we've renamed the default uh, one. We're going to do the Sam. So we do the same thing again. Ren, and then Sam, and then Sam again, and then dot back or whatever you're calling your extension. Let me move that out of the way so you can see. There we go. And push enter. You won't be able to see it yet, but they will change when I show you in a second. Next one we want to do is security. So we're going to oh, go back. We're going to do ren and uh, security. And then security. Make sure I've spelled that right. Okay. And uh, we're going to do dot back. And then push enter and that's renamed that file for us and then we're going to do the next one which is software and then software uh, dot back and then we're going to do the last one which is system i'm going to do ren system and then system dot back there we go I'll just push enter there and there we go we've renamed all them files now uh, so if we try to boot the system up now it won't work so don't reboot just yet because otherwise you're going to end up with an error and uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go back um, to uh, the location to have a look oh I'll tell you what we'll do we'll, we'll, we'll uh, change the file put the files in there first uh, before we do that so let me just change the directory again back to regback now um, that would be the best way. So we're back in Regback now, and uh, we want to copy the fault files from Regback to the uh, config area. So that's what we're going to do now. So we've backed up our originals, and then we're going to copy those back in. So all we need to do here now is copy this file. So I've cleared the screen so you can see it better by typing CLS. And what we're going to do here is copy the files from the regback area. So all these files here, we're gonna copy all these into our config folder. And to do that, we're just gonna type copy space uh, star dot star, just like so, and then space dot dot, just like so. And what that's gonna do is copy them into that directory. So push enter, and you can see five files have been copied into there. So what we can do now is go back to our config folder. So we're going to do change directory space and then dot dot here into our config area. And from there we can now type dir and you should now see the files. So what we've done here you can see default dot back is what we created and it's now copied the default new default uh, file from the uh, regback into that config area and it goes the same with all the others so you can see security security.back sam and sam.back and and so on software and software.back system system.back and security you see there let's copy all of those across all you need to do now is type exit and uh, we can type exit and that will exit, exit us out of here so now you want to reboot the system and hopefully that resolves your issue. But if it doesn't, go back into Troubleshoot and click on Reset this PC. This is your final chance here. You've got Keep My Files and Remove Everything below that. Remove Everything is going to remove just about everything on the system and reinstall Windows. So you'll have nothing there. All your data will be gone. Keep My Files will remove your apps 
and also your settings but keeps your personal files okay so you can try the keep my files first and then do remove everything after that okay if it doesn't work now if this doesn't work and this is your final chance you won't be able to do anything else but to do a fresh install uh, of windows and you can do that by going to microsoft's website download their creation tool and uh, create your own media uh, using your USB flash drive and install Windows that way. Okay, now you can see here using this tool uh, to use it uh, by creating a USB flash drive or DVD using the ISO. You can do it by using that tool there. Okay, all the instructions are on their website. Now, if you're still having issues after you've done the fresh install using the media creation tool, then there's obviously some sort of hardware issue there that you may need to investigate further or take it to a PC repair shop. And they're the steps that you can take to try to resolve and repair Windows 10. Hope this one's been helpful. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.